Hey guys, thanks so much for clicking on this video today. If you are new, welcome. My name is Mallory. If you are not new, welcome back. So I'm really excited to share today's video with you guys. I'm going to be showing you how I created my save the dates. So DIY all the way, anything that I can make myself, I'm going to try, even if it means I end up spending more money than if I would have just had somebody else do it. But that's besides the point. So I have been scrolling on Pinterest, obviously, because I have a wedding to plan. But I came across these really pretty vellum overlay save the dates. Now, I don't know if I've been living under a rock. I wasn't really familiar with vellum paper. I mean, I'm sure I've seen it. I've just never used it. Didn't really know what it was for. But thank you, Pinterest. Thank you, Michaels. I found vellum paper at Michaels. And this is just a regular like um, 8x5 by 11 printer size paper. And it's transparent. So what my vision is, I originally wanted to get engagement pictures done for this, but time got away from us, so it is what it is. But these are pictures of the venue, and I just uploaded this to Vistaprint. I ordered postcards with this image. I did a four by six setting, and you can upload whatever image you want. You can print on the back. They have all sorts of different settings. You can do a matte finish, a glossy finish, um, I just wanted everything to correlate with the envelope size that I was using. So whether it be five by seven or four by six, those would be my recommendations. So I went with four by six in a matte finish. Again, just uploaded the picture. They came really quickly. I was happy with them. And for the vellum paper, I am just going to be printing it using my laser printer. I imagine you could use your inkjet printer as well. I'm not doing any color. I wanna keep it really simple, really minimalistic, and still classy, right? So I'm gonna be using Canva to design these. You could use whatever software you want. I imagine you could do this in Word. The only reason I'm using Canva is because they have so many pre-made designs. All you have to do is edit the text and save it. They have an app. They also have a desktop version and it's really user-friendly and so many different fonts, graphics, pretty much already done for you. So I'm going to turn you guys around. I'm going to show you guys the computer. I'm going to show you guys step-by-step step what I did to create these. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them in the comment section for me. And if you haven't subscribed to my channel, it would really mean a lot to me if you did that. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So this is Canva's website. They also have an app that is just as user-friendly that you can edit and do just as much in. All I did was a quick search for save the dates and you can see how many graphics and templates come up. Now, some of them have the little star icon on them and that just means that it's only available in the pro version. However, there is a link in my description box to try out the pro version for free. So this is the one I ended up settling on. It is very simple, very minimalistic. I really liked the font. I didn't want to change too much. The first thing I need to do though is resize it so it's the same size as our postcards and our envelope. So four by six. And I want to remove the leaves on there. I don't, I don't want those. I just want it to be the text that is on it. So really user-friendly, anything you don't like, you can click on it, you can remove it, you can enlarge everything. From here, if you double click, you can change the font, you can change the font style, you can obviously edit your text. Super user-friendly if you wanted to upload images, you could. I can't say enough good things about Canva. If you haven't tried Canva to design things or you're not using it for your business, they have so many social media templates, definitely check out the link in my bio. So really simple editing process. I'm not gonna do a whole lot here. When I save it, I wanna make sure that I'm saving it with a transparent background and I'm saving it as a PNG file. Now, when I click download, it's just gonna download a file to my computer that I can then upload to whatever software I want to print from. Now I can print directly from the Silhouette and I really like Silhouette's design software, so that's what I'm using. However, you could use Word for this. So for here, 
I'm just adjusting the page setup so that the page is the size of actual printer paper. I'm going to duplicate this image and you can see when I uploaded it, it came on my paper exactly sized at four by six. That's why I saved it that way in Canva so I didn't have to edit the size of anything in Word or the Silhouette. So from here, I am printing it. I didn't change any of my printer settings. I am just loading it into the front loader of my printer versus where the regular printer paper goes, just because it is a little bit thicker and it's just gonna slide right in, slide right out, and you're left with your beautiful text. So easy, right you guys? So now we're ready to attach it. I've got all my supplies. I definitely practiced a few times before I just started punching holes in the postcards and vellum paper. These are just little grommets that I found on Amazon. It was like a pack of 100 with gold, silver, and it came with the little tool to punch them. These are the envelopes I found on Amazon. It's like a really pretty, I think it was like a quartz metallic, so they're a little bit shiny. And we're gonna print these with our printer as well. I'll show you guys that later. And here is the stack of vellum paper. So the first thing we need to do is cut everything to size. I'm just using a paper cutter and using the ruler on the top as a guide. Again, cutting these to four by six. So a little bit tedious if you guys are doing a huge wedding. I don't know how long this would take you. It didn't take me that long because we are keeping it small. I did not stack any of these. I cut each one individually because once you start stacking them, you risk them kind of moving and things getting uneven. So definitely take your time when you are cutting them and definitely get a paper cutter. I also learned my lesson when I was practicing to use a hole punch prior to attaching the grommets. If you don't use a hole punch, that piece of postcard or vellum paper will poke through and it'll leave it kind of bulky. So all I did was line it up, eyeballed it, I kind of went right in the corner about, I don't know, maybe a half inch down and used my hole punch mainly as a guide and to remove that excess paper. This part was really easy. I settled on the gold grommets and I just poked it through the vellum paper first. See, that's what I was trying to avoid. So definitely practice, but use your hole punch so you don't get that excess piece of paper and it won't lie flush if you don't do the hole punch first. So once you line everything up, you put your grommet through the vellum paper and the postcard, you're just gonna take this little tool and you wanna make sure that the part that you're pushing down and this little kind of, I guess, I don't know, bump in the tool is what's on the bottom because if not, it's obviously not gonna push it flush. So practice a couple times. If you end up trying this, you'll see what I mean. But you just wanna use a little bit of force here for sure. You really wanna squeeze it tight um, because the force is what's, is what's going to push that backing flat. trying to show you guys but hard to record it and do it at the same time and get enough strength. <laughs> so they're really easy. Just push it down with some force and that's going to bend those edges so it leaves it flush. And from here we're just going to repeat this on all of the other save the dates, and then we will be ready to put them in the envelopes. A little time lapse for your viewing pleasure. And for the envelopes, I, I didn't want to create it in Canva this time because I didn't want to have to download that many separate images to my computer, if that makes sense. So I found a font that was super, super comparable to the font that was in Canva. And I designed this in the silhouette. Again, you could design this in Word. All I did was change my page setup to the four by six so I could visualize how everything was gonna look. And then I just typed out who they were being addressed to, obviously, and then 
for the back of it, I did the same, but just made it a little bit smaller, if that makes sense. Now I did change my printer settings for this. I went in and changed it to a thick envelope. I did my user defined settings, so it knows that it's a four by six page. So it's gonna tell me that I should put the envelope through the front of it and again, pull it out of the back of the printer. So your printer settings might be a little bit different. You will have to look into that. But mine just has these little guides for the front that I can adjust. So that's gonna make sure everything feeds in straight. All I did was adjust those so it fits around the envelope and slide the envelope in and printed it. And because I am using an ink, or I'm sorry, a laser printer, I didn't really have to worry about it scratching off. I'm not sure how it would work with a inkjet printer. So this is for the back for the return address. All I did was adjust it instead of the four by six, I did four by two because the flap on the back of the envelope was only two inches thick. So again, this is gonna be our return label and we're gonna feed it through the printer. The same process, just upside down this time. And this is what you should be left with. So that's the return address on the back. You could obviously change that. We did the future Mr. and Mrs. And then you're ready to stuff them and mail them out. Here's the final product. I really love how they turned out. They are so simple yet so classy, I think. If you guys enjoyed this video, please let me know. And I really appreciate you guys sticking around and watching. I'll see you next time.